Well, um, advice that, that I would give to students who are considering taking the um, FRM is to um, consider it seriously, to look through the curriculum which we make available and publish, see how it fits into their academic development, and then to, if it seems appropriate, to move forward and um, take it. I would caution them not to overdo it. You know, taking it part one followed by part two might be preferable to trying to do it all at one time. And to think seriously about how they can incorporate what's covered on the examination with what they're learning in the classroom. Risk management is, it's a, it's a living discipline, so um, the interactions that they can get from what we cover in our curriculum, the subject matter that we're testing on, and possibly what they're learning in their courses, discussions they could have with other students and faculty, is really, you know, I think that they can get a lot more out of the examination process if they look to integrate it into some of the things that they're doing in school rather than possibly viewing it as a, as a separate activity. To those ends, we work with colleges and universities around the world in developing university chapters. These are wonderful opportunities for, um, you know, for schools to work with, with GARP and, um, and, and establishing chapters, having speakers come in, talk to students about risk management as a field, risk management subjects. So you know, if students are really interested in the area, they can um, you know, speak to their faculty and administration about possibly considering the development of, of a GARP chapter on campus.